Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to paint the texture uh, for this uh, frog. I have uh, sculpted this model in ZBrush and then brought this model here into the Substance Painter. In this video, I'll be showing the whole process of how I created this texture. So let's get started. So let's start uh, painting texture for the frog model. For that, first I'll import the model into the Substance Painter. And uh, for that, I'll go for the new and then choose the file from here and uh, select the file. I'm choosing the document resolution to 4096. Normal map format, I'm going to choose OpenGL and then say OK. That brings up the model into the Substance Painter. Now I'm going to select the browser, drop the texture. I have two UDIM tiles here which are having a naming convention with 1001, 1002 and I'm going to import one of this image just by dragging and dropping into the browser and then I'm going to select the texture from the undefined button here which actually asking me the image what you're importing what is that image and how do you want to use it I'm saying this is going to be used as a texture now I'm going to import that into my current project and say import that brings up the texture here you should able to see the two number on this particular normal map and it means I have two UDIM tiles in this. So I'm going to choose um, here, okay, sorry, here there is an option called normal map. I'm going to drop that one onto the normal map like that. Now you should able to see there is a connection. Now when I rotate it, you should able to see that textures on the model and these details will be used for texture painting all along. Once you have got all the details on the model, let's uh, bake the textures here. So I'll go to the bake mesh maps option. And then here I'll be choosing the 4K texture. I'm not going to use the normal map here for the baking because already I have one. I'll go to the curvature and then choose generate from normal map and then bake the selected textures. That brings up that all normal map information onto my uh, current maps like occlusion, curvature um, and positions, etc. So I've got all the textures uh, baked. So let's start some procedural texturing onto this model. Hold shift and right click and just drag it to change the light uh, direction. I'm rotating the HDRI map, which uh, is right now there for this model. I can go to this section here and then environment map and then click there and choose your desired uh, HDRI map. So I'm using Studio 3. Now the first thing is we have a base paint layer. I'm going to delete that and then start picking new fill layer here okay so in the fill layer i just wanted to get that skin texture okay uh, i'll be putting them in different layers so let me first go with uh, the add fill and then uh, make sure that you are painting the suitable maps i'm not going to touch um, any of this uh, attributes except color okay or let's say if you want the height to be working so I have to deal this in a different way so let's say I'm, I want to use height and then put a value of maybe 0.1 now uh, I just give a color there slightly pinkish okay now I'm going to take a base layer which is uh, uh, the white I'm going to put it on the bottom okay this white layer uh, will not have anything except the color you can maybe pick slight pink color if you wanted now this layer is uh, slightly saturated and uh, slightly dark in color. Now I'm going to put a mask on top of it, okay? And in this mask, we have an option for fill. And then I go to the procedural textures and then find a texture called marble, okay? Uh, here we have marble fine. I'm going to drop that here. Then you should be able to see that nice veins coming on the model here. The color of the veins can be adjusted here. And then you should be able to see nice saturated red veins there. Okay, and the height uh, can be negative or positive as per the requirement there, like that. And uh, this texture, what I have used here, can be repeated. And also, um, you, you don't want that seam issues coming up, then you can choose triplanar projection that fixes the seams. And then I'm going to repeat this maybe to five times so that you get that slight thin uh, layers of veins all over the model. Okay. I should be able to see that nice veins on the model there. Okay. So keep exploring uh, more details. So you can maybe select the balance 
and um, you can adjust the texture if uh, any details are available there so i'm going to select that and then slightly make it light don't uh, make it visible too strong and uh, i will also put uh, a layer on top of it for or maybe in the bottom layer we have a uh, uh, very plain color so this is uh, basically white now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a fill layer there and then in the fill layer i'm going to um, put a texture okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a cloud texture so we have cloud texture here i'm going to put that and then use a triplanar projection with a scale value of four or maybe six so you get more repeats you can keep exploring different types of clouds there uh, if you are expecting more um, you know uh, high frequency details now you should be able to see this looks uh, black and white now in that case you can add a filter above this one and the filter is going to be the gradient map and then there are three color inputs i'm going to put only two color inputs so i'm going to take a, a light pink color here and i'm going to take a dark pink there okay and uh, that gives that nice uh, details and then you can start positioning the texture okay that that looks like nice skin blemishes and uh, uh, if you feel that it's too contrast you can start exploring the balance and all that stuff and uh, you can start playing with the colors as per the requirement there okay now this looks good um, again keep exploring the colors like that so that that becomes one of the base layer and i, I keep adding uh, more layers on top of it so i'm going to add a new fill layer and uh, uh, maybe you can use a slightly rough texture and uh, or maybe glossy texture if you want to and then i'm going to put some nice red color there okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and put a black mask and then in that i'm going to add a generator and then choose the curvature so that adds this nice uh, highlights uh, so i'm going to select uh, this uh, curvature texture expand this option and then start picking the cavities instead of that okay now um, you could see that colors here uh, i can uh, pick colors like uh, i just wanted uh, maybe i'll just uh, explore the color once i adjust the curvature here so i'm going to use a slight blur there 0.5 okay and um, okay i select this layer and then put opacity um, control that and then you should be able to see that uh, variation okay that that forms up the base uh, flesh or the white layer uh, for uh, the frog okay once that is done i can uh, select all these layers and press Control G to group them. Okay, that becomes a group. So let's start adding uh, one more layer on top of it. Uh, this is going to be out of this group. So I'm going to take a solid layer and then in that I'm going to add a fill. And uh, I'm I'm going to choose a, a texture here. Again, I'm going to use the clouds uh, three or maybe clouds one. Okay. I'm just seeing uh, which one is good. And then uh, let's repeat this to three and then uh, use the triplanar projection. That adds that nice texture, uh, but I don't want these colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter above it. And in filter, I'm going to choose the gradient filter with two entries and then choose one of the color to be green. And then another one also the green color. Okay, but it should be slightly darker like that. Now I can start playing with the position. Okay, that should uh, bring up this uh, texture over the model. Okay, uh, so this is uh, one layer and I'm going to take uh, another layer on top of it. So this layer um, can, can be slightly rough. I'll make it rough and uh, I'm going to put some light color. Okay, so it should be almost uh, light like that. Okay. Now let me put a black mask and then put a generator and then gen choose the cavities and you should be able to see that nice uh, bump which is uh, not shiny and uh, it is giving me that overall texture to the model you can increase the 
uh, blur value uh, so that you could see that slight blend of the textures okay just see how this uh, texture is really coming out and uh, <clears throat> I can uh, pick uh, one more uh, layer okay so I'm going to take a solid layer here and I'm going to take a dark green color like that okay and uh, I'm going to use uh, this layer for extra gloss so I'll be adding a black mask here and then in this one I'm going to add a generator and then choose a curvature and this time we will be using the cavities so that I get the darker regions like that mm, so you can start playing with the balance okay that adds up that uh, layer on top of it it's looking a bit more greenish I just wanted it to be more dark and uh, desaturated okay that looks pretty good uh, so we have uh, all these uh, layers so I'm going to select all of them okay and uh, I'm going to group them and green layer will have a mask so I'll take a white mask and then add a paint layer start painting on the bottom side I'll be choosing the symmetry and then start painting it over on the bottom side Uh, take a paint layer and then start picking colors here so I'll take some color and from the uh, brushes uh, section you can choose any of those brushes and then start painting over there so I'm working with the opacity thing and then also as I told uh, while I'm painting you can use uh, the UV thing just uh, to avoid uh, that nice I mean the 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 lower lip getting affected with the result so I'm going to take a new lay new paint again and uh, this time I'm going to choose some dark brown colors adding that detail uh, you can start exploring um, the lighting here which has uh, that nice contrast okay you can check the render that was a soft ambient light hard lights will make it look more glossy guys hope you like this video if you want more such videos I request you to subscribe my channel and uh, I have a playlist of substance painter tutorials you can check that in the description and then um, share this uh, video with your friends and let the channel grow. Thank you very much.